All right, welcome back to Uptick Updates. This is episode 34. And Brian, happy 2023. How was your new year? Yeah, uh, new year is busy, but it's pretty happy. Happy new year to you, John. Thank you. Thank you. I'm excited. Yeah, I, I think we got a lot to look forward to. So when we were doing our last show, we were talking about the mainnet coming in uh, Q1 of this year. So that should be coming fairly soon. And we were also talking about DAOs. And I was looking into DAOs. And uh, it seemed to be a hot, I could be wrong, but it seemed to be a hot topic like maybe a year ago. There are a lot of posts on YouTube and that, but then it's been pretty quiet since then. And it seems like there were some some issues. I guess one of the big uh, popular ones was called The DAO, and I, I guess it got hacked, and that's how Ethereum Classic was developed. And I think just recently I heard there, there's a few... Uh, crypto millionaires or billionaires that have mysteriously passed away. And I think one was from the co-founder of MakerDAO or some other DAO. And I don't know, I was hoping tonight maybe you could give us like a brief rundown on what you have in mind for the Uptick DAO. And uh, yeah, does that sound okay? Oh, sure. Yeah, I think that's a, it's, that's a great topic uh, because, uh, you know, uh, basically for the decentralized network, decentralized community, mm. uh, the governance is always a a big topic right so uh in the past uh, we have so many uh, uh ideal uh, uh thoughts uh for that uh, and but in the re reality mm. uh, during the process we see a lot of issues uh you can say okay yeah just like a perfect uh social experiment but there's a lot of bugs inside right so <laughs> that's uh uh so so yeah, just like you mentioned, uh, there's a DAO uh, uh, issues. Uh, but you know, DAO basically it's a uh, uh, well ideally it's a uh, 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 well it's a governance uh, a lot of rules putting together to help different people to participate and uh, to to manage a community or just uh, through the governance or other ways uh, make it uh, grow up. In the healthy way, but the key is uh, there's still people behind it, right? So and also uh, the token allocation might not be uh, even, right? So so there's a, a whale account, there are yeah. small accounts, uh, and also you know, uh, uh, for example, for some POS network, uh, if the node uh, is not enough decentralized. Uh, so it's also difficult to really uh, carry out a real DAO, right? So people always feel, okay, there, there will be people manipulating uh, the results, mm -hmm. right? So, so yeah, I think DAO is a very important topic, but it's uh, uh, there's a lot of issues. Uh, and and the back to Optic Network, you know, remember we last year we also talked about this uh, topic, uh, several times, mm -hmm. right? So, uh, so I, I, I last year actually I, I was uh, saying okay, Optic DAO was a pretty important task for the second half of uh, twenty two. Uh, yes, we we did some uh, uh, research and uh, we we actually did some preparation, but on the other side, I think uh, it might getting uh, well start to. Uh, uh, to 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 practice with people uh, in 2023 because why because uh, we are going to launch the Optic Mainnet very soon uh, in Q1 right with that actually uh, the theory can well, go into the practice all right so that's really important because DAO uh, it basically it's based on the tokenomics right so the token need, needs to be the driving force and yep. uh, including the uh, well, uh, infrastructure level uh, smart contract to define the rules. And also we need to have a way to make sure it can be evolved uh, based on the community efforts uh, in a healthy way, right? Mm. Just like a constitution of the United States. Yeah, it was pretty good. But on the other side, there's a amendment, right? Uh, uh, should be added mm. uh, by the wise people in, in the future. So I think that's the way to do that. Uh, yeah. And on, on the other side, I think, uh, uh, yeah, talking about the uh, DAO uh, management. So I, I really believe the decentralization uh, in the community. Uh, but again, 
uh, it's all people behind it. Uh, so how can we, uh, uh, between the define the DAO to a mature DAO, there will be a transformation uh, for a certain period of time. Right? Mm -hmm. How can we do that? And uh, during this period of time, how can we really bring in the <clears throat> what valuable people, uh, the real contributor, right, to 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 be the core of this uh, community? Mm -hmm. That's also very important, right? Yeah. So so uh, yeah. So I think that's a pretty exciting topic. Definitely. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Definitely. So like, you know, it's it's not super decentralized right now. And in the future, it would be completely de decentralized or you said to be like a core team still start sort of managing things. Yeah. I'm wondering how, how would you yeah. feel about losing control over, you know, your baby that you've you've put all this work into? Well, I, well, I think uh, if we people want to work uh, in the Web3 model mm -hmm. uh, on top of the blockchain and tokenomics, mm -hmm. the first uh, uh well thing is uh, they they have to recognize the nature of a decentralized community right decentralized governance mm. if they really want to uh, keep the control on everything behind the scene then they are doing the web 2 stuff right by by have the web 3 hat yeah. that's not uh, and that will not be sustainable in my view. Mm -hmm. But on the other side, or just like we talk about uh, the Constitution of the United States. Mm -hmm. So actually, that's a perfect example. So wise people define the Constitution. But again, this Constitution is just like a, a set of rules, right? How can we govern the, the country? But on the other side, the, all those rules should also apply to myself as well. Mm -hmm. There's no exception. Right, that's that's really important. Mm -hmm. So in in that case, uh, uh, there's nothing about losing control. Uh, so we are equal in the uh, community, right? So then uh, the only thing is uh, the uh, this uh, part uh, this uh, rule uh, should help the co real contributor uh, be able to stay in the center, right? To be the opinion leader. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's my view. Uh, actually, I really hope uh, we can, uh, well, release the control <laughs> to the full full community when it's pretty uh, well uh, mature and stable. Uh, so the the difficult part is the, in the transformation period, right? So how can we manage it uh, mm -hmm. in the right way and then release it to the right hands? Uh, yeah, so uh, so I think that's uh, you know in current uh, in in Arctic uh, uh, testnet we also did a little bit uh, practice on this. You know, currently we have uh, over uh, one hundred fifty active uh, validator nodes mm -hmm. running mm -hmm. to become the full set of the uh, Arctic testnet. Uh, but again, the official team only have one node, uh, so. Uh, uh, so we are really depending on the key contributors from the validator communities. Mm. And also, you know, recently, if you see our uh, social media, uh, we are keep uh, uh, announcing the strategic validator partner uh, uh, almost uh, one day per validators. So that's also our uh, efforts. Uh, we're making efforts to invite uh, the right contributor uh, to the right position of this uh, initial network. Yeah. Right? So most of them might, might be able to participate at the mainnet launch as a genesis group of uh, validators. Mm. So you can see all those can be the seeds uh, for the future core community, right? Yeah. So uh, can be the seeds for the uh, Optic DAO uh, uh, early group uh, people, yeah. Nice, nice. So I, just to kind of wrap my head around it a bit more, uh, are there any DAOs that are fully autonomous at the moment or any like success stories like we could copy, you know, cookie cutter, boilerplate sort of build off of that? Or is it still pretty early days? Uh, I think it's in the pretty early days. But on the other side, I I, I think we do need to learn from each other. 
uh, mm -hmm. from the existing uh, community, right? So I, I don't want to mention specific names, but yeah. I think uh, there's uh, uh, several projects uh, is uh, doing pretty good. At, at least I, I feel their vision and uh, their roadmap uh, looks uh, pretty attractive to me. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think we, 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 we can learn from each other. On the other side, uh, I really want to focus on the uh, practice, right? So how can we really transfer a real good theory into a real good practice? Mm -hmm. Because uh, that's the key part, right? So uh, that's why if we have the infrastructure up and running, we will have a platform to really practice it, right? So only uh, when you try to practice it, then you can see the real people get involved. Then you can see how it grows, right? Mm -hmm. How to fix issues. Because uh, uh, for, for example, in the past, uh, even we, we're all talking about uh, uh, DAO, uh, but uh, most people just feel, okay, it's a community, decentralized community, uh, maybe only for the governance, the voting. Right, so so actually, it's used uh, for that uh, in in most cases. But actually, uh, the real DAO, right, decentralized autonomous organization, actually, it's a it's a whole society, right? So uh, there's a lot of things to do behind it. Uh -huh. It's not just voting, right? So even even it's only for voting. Uh, how can you make sure uh, the people vote for something, yes or no, or absent? Uh, is uh, uh, they know the whole picture. They 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 understand how to do that. Uh, whether it's a, a, a well a benefit to the uh, infrastructure or just uh, some uh, well greedy stuff, right? So behind it. Yeah. So so I think that's uh, uh, in my view. So we the the overall DAO actually is a, a huge governance uh, for the whole society. So then we can pick uh, different uh, categories be, uh, behind it uh, to, to, to see how people can get involved, especially when they get involved, they should be incentivized, right? Mm -hmm. So this, 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 should, uh, this should do it for, for something, right? So it's not, there's nothing free in the world. Yeah. Yeah. So for, for, for example, you know, DAO, so in our infrastructure, okay, you can, uh, vote for some proposals to change the, for example, some parameters in the network to, to, to optimize it, like a fee structure, the inflation rate, the voting period, all those uh, well, basic uh, rules. Mm. Uh, but on the other side, you know, uh, uh, we are saying, okay, we want to build a business grade uh, NFT infrastructure for, for the uh, creative community. But okay, in this part, maybe the Aptic DAO has another uh, mission is to say, help the copyright owner uh, to, 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 to protect themselves in a decentralized community, mm. right? So in that case, the people might, might vote for some uh, uh, abuse, uh, this copyright abuse, mm -hmm. right? To, to maintain uh, the consensus on some uh, uh, authentic contents. So that's different, you know? So those two group of people, even though are, they are all voting and they try to get something benefit, uh, but they are different group of people, right? So, so and, and also, you know, NFT is more than just a collectible NFT. It's not just a artist. There's a lot of things can be put onto the NFT technology. Mm. For example, the utility, I will say functional NFT. It, it, say if it's in the hotel FMB business, then it, it might be the membership card uh, in the NFT form mm -hmm. uh, and the loyalty points uh, in, in, in the NFT uh, or membership card uh, uh, or form. So in that case, there will be some uh, governance for that uh, uh, specific ap application level, right? So, uh, so we we want to people be able to participate as well. Mm. Uh, so that's why I, I, I that actually we are thinking. So the optic DAO, uh, we need to make sure it's a uh, it's a modularized, structured, and also open enough 
uh, to different type of business model. Uh, for, for example, currently we, we are thinking, okay, basically we need to have a infrastructure level of uh, optic DAO uh, to make it work. Mm -hmm. At the same time, uh, this uh, 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 should also be able to enable some application level uh, governance. Right, so just like a copyright or whatever, yeah. all those th things complicated. So, so, yeah, so I think it's a very interesting topic. So, uh, we actually are working on that, uh, because uh, I, I think, uh, it's uh, but on the other side, you can see this, uh, uh, uh this, this can be a good product, it's a platform itself, yeah, right. So, but it's linked to optic network it it can also be linked or contributed to other uh token economy uh system yeah. because uh basically you know it's a uh it's a set of rules and secured by the code and also it's uh behind it it's a set of uh people you you will say decentralized social graph behind mm. it mm. Then we can we can just uh uh, make make related people can be participated right uh, through this uh, mechanism. Yeah, that's uh, that's uh, that's something. Uh, well, the abstract model in our mind. So, but yeah, it it takes some time for <laughs> to, sure. To for really, sure. Yeah. To do that. So, yeah. What's the best uh, user interface you have in mind? Would it be like a website devoted to that, or would it be an app or some, something that? can't be taken down or how would that work? Well, I, I think, it, it, well, you know, our the plan is uh, to to have both. Mm -hmm. So basically uh, we hope, uh, well, basically the thing is on the, uh, 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 well, the layer one, the blockchain and, and the smart contract level. So mm -hmm. it cannot be shut down, right? So yeah. if the network is running, mm -hmm. but on the other side, the user interface on top of that, uh, might be able to be shut down, but but the, the data will not go away, right? Mm -hmm. So then we can actually provide multiple type of uh, terminals to the user because you know some some users they're good at uh, mobile app, right? Yeah. So they, they only use mobile. they they don't have uh, other access, so that's that's good. So mm -hmm. through the mobile wallet, uh, and uh, and also some application who uh, have a wallet embedded inside. For example, actually, we also have a mobile wallet, but we didn't release it yet because mobile the wallet requires high security, right? Yeah. So, and then non-custodial wallet, uh, and so so we are not not hurry to release it. But in our optic mobile app, you can see we already have uh, embedded uh, uh, wallet inside, mm -hmm. right? So so in that case, we can easily. Uh, expand a tab uh, in the wallet to show you the governance items, right? So you can click and vote. Mm. Uh, so this is pretty typical actually in a lot of projects already. Mm -hmm. But on the web, it's more open. So in the website, actually you can do more. So at, at currently in, in our uh, blockchain browser, uh, so you, you can easily to find all the modules over there. Right, the proposals, the voting, governance. Yeah, uh, I think that the the uh, uh so uh, probably you you worry about okay, what if what if it's shut down, right? So that I don't have any, any access to that. Yeah. So that's uh, uh, I think that that can be uh, solved by because it's an open structure, open data. Uh, so because uh. uh Anybody can build applications uh, to contain that functionality, right? Mm -hmm. So even right now, you know, in our testnet uh, too, so we we actually really invite invited our some some validators to to contribute. For example, currently we have a leaderboard uh, to 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 show uh, validators' contribution, mm -hmm. right? To uh, to to uh, measured by some award based token, so uh, we have two leaderboard, but none of uh, them are built by ourselves. Uh, our community member they build it. Mm. So and, and you can see we have two leaderboards. People can compare 
uh, to see the accuracy. But uh, it doesn't matter if, if one of them or two of them are shut down. So there will be more people build it, right? Because they are coming from the same data source. Mm -hmm. So I think that's, uh, that's the beauty of the uh, decentralized application. Uh, that uh, so I think uh, in the future there will, there will be all type all type of uh, application to to really well, powered by uh, optic DAO. Uh, mm -hmm. So yeah, I, I'm I, I don't worry about that, but because the uh, data will not go away as long as you have your private key and uh, your access to the network. Yeah, uh, the application level, I think uh, the key part is uh, 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 or or you can see. Or you say the competition between different application to attract user to use it is the usability, right? So that's the key part, uh, key issue right now. Uh, remember, we have a, a Tokyo Art Tank, right? <laughs> Before, yeah, uh, uh, we, we made a very good design and uh, the user flow and the experience, user experience flow. But you know, uh, not many people really participated. Right, because at the very beginning, mm -hmm. uh, they have to understand. Okay, I need to remember the uh, those are uh, key phrases, right? As a wallet uh, activation. But okay, that will shut down maybe ninety percent of people uh, if they don't feel comfortable, right? Yeah. If they don't feel it's user friendly, even mm -hmm. though uh, uh, we in the industry we feel it's pretty easy already, but it's not to the general public. I think uh, the in the future uh, competition are uh, uh, based on those uh, usability part. Yeah. Nice, nice. Okay, so uh, yeah, I was interested in uh, how you're planning to make it fair too. You were saying there can be whales and that, but if you want to save that for a future episode, or you want to touch on something else before we wrap up, what what do you want to do? I I think uh, well today actually uh, we we share some uh, uh, the, the vision right. So for the optic DAO, mm -hmm. and also we. I, I believe there will be some simple but very important principles behind it, right? Just like uh, we use a uh, Constitution of the United States as an example. Yeah. So, so I think that's really important. So, uh, simple but but uh, uh, very important principles mm. behind it. Mm. I think based on that, uh, then we can we can uh, we will be able to uh, uh, to put different modules on top of that. To put into practice, mm -hmm. so I think today uh, uh, I really want to share this kind of a vision and the, the principles in our mind. Uh, so in 2023, uh, uh, I think it's the time to to start the practice, right? So maybe in the in, uh, future episodes we can dive into some details uh, uh, in the uh, optic DAO, right? Yeah. So uh, well, uh, because uh, what. Well, uh, devils are in the details, right? So the product uh, is uh, in the details. So, uh, and also I li like to hear the feedback from the community. Mm -hmm. I, I think this, uh, the, the, the beauty of DAO is, uh, well, I don't think uh, anyone can define it clearly. It also requires the community participation, right? Yeah. So, so work together, and the, and also benefit to 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 the same group of people, so that's the beauty of that. So I lo love to hear more feedbacks, suggestions from mm -hmm. the community, mm -hmm. and uh, well, gradually I I I I I would say we can see the progress of that. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Okay, thanks a lot, Brian. I'll catch you later. Thank you. Yeah, talk to you later. Yeah. Bye -bye.